Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of the Flight Sim Deck. My name is Patrick and today we're in San Francisco, California. Northern California Bay Area and we'll be going to Phoenix, Arizona, Sky Harbor. And um, yeah, they've been having some rain up here in NorCal. It's been going on for about a week or so with a few breaks in between. Definitely seems that uh, California is out of the drought that they found themselves in for the past uh, two to three years. Um, heavy rain this season, which is a, more of a typical NorCal winter that I remember. I grew up in this area and uh, always remember it being fairly cold and a lot of rain during the season. Not able to do much outdoors, but uh, doesn't stop us from flying this simulator. So here is the plan today on Sky Vector. We will be uh, basically going down um, to uh, Southern California and then uh, making our way over to the east into Sky Harbor, which is over here. Should be um, a little under a uh, two hour flight, about an hour and 35 minutes or so. Perfect flight to do through this. Basically going to bypass some of the weather. We're going to go through a little bit of it, but nothing too bad. Pushing back now. Uh, we're going to start the engines once we uh, end the push, watching this American Airlines come in here. It's a special livery. I haven't really seen that one before with the gold ribbon. So that's pretty neat that it uh, just happened to be heading into the gate as we were leaving. So got lucky with that. Starting the number one engine. And we're going to get a few more things set up and then we'll be on our way. Right now we're set up to take off from runway 10 right, but they switched the runways on us since I checked ATIS. Alright, we're beginning our taxi over to runway 2A left. The rain has come back a little bit. Didn't have much of it during the filming of the uh, outside clips of the airport but the storm is back and um, very nice that I get to experience a little bit of rain as I just got the pre-sip pack by FSFX packages and uh, nice to get to see some rain. Now the elevation at this airport is all screwed up. It's actually almost as if when I was taxiing that the plane was heading downhill it felt yeah, like it was moving a lot faster and it was almost it was dropping it was making the sound of the plane Bravo. dropping you know at certain times the points rain. in the runway and then you'll see also there's uh, extra um, taxiway markings in some areas you'll see a couple of them um, up here by the runway so uh, I tried checking Orbex out um, FTX Central I, I couldn't even find a, a KSFO on the list and I also tried reinstalling it. I've run the uh, the scan that's supposed to fix this, but just to disable the elevation corrections, I couldn't even find it in the list on FTX Central. It's like it wasn't even there. So, got to fix a few things with this airport. Yeah, you can see the taxiway right up there. Um, one on the runway it's not supposed to. Um, we're going to do the Westlet 3 departure. And... Uh, That'll be bringing us out of here today. Okay, we're going to start rolling out. Apologize for the lag here about the seat. It's about to get really bad. Um, but this was... Uh, I had the vehicle traffic set to 100. And uh, that was just for the filming around the airport and I forgot to turn it back off so that really killed us on frames heading out of here. But the rest of the video will be fine, it'll be smooth, it'll definitely not be like this, so uh, don't worry. But, yeah, pretty ugly heading out of here. Positive oh, climb, gear up.
1776 passing 2000 for 190. Yeah, it's 1776, they're going to park right here with I'll ride back in the cockpit. The clouds look great as you go through them. Uh, once you're above them, they don't look as nice, but definitely going through clouds looks great. I'm using um, Active Sky 16 paired up with the Rex 4 soft clouds. And uh, they seem to look pretty nice. Um, as you can see here, they don't look as nice when you're above them. Um, but going through them, they look great. Uh, so, we've got some broken storms up coming up here. A few cells. Uh, nothing that should cause us any trouble. Well, most of it's going to be breaking up as we get closer to it. Still climbing to um, 370 is our cruise altitude today. Got some more weather up here. Got some red stuff up around there, but we're still kind of far away from that to where it shouldn't be an issue. We reached our cruise altitude. Okay, and this is just a little bit further ahead. Um, a lot of that stuff uh, wasn't a problem at all. So, yeah, the um, FS Labs A320 came out, and uh, I'll be uh, receiving that eventually and uh, doing an FS Elite video. So be on the lookout for that. The uh, 717 video is going to be coming out either today or tomorrow along with an Amsterdam review. So head over to their channel and check that out, FS Elite. Uh, make sure you subscribe to them where you can see uh, more videos published by me. And, and uh, so if you want to follow my work, that's just another place you can do it. Um, we're getting the seatbelt sign on right now because it's getting a little choppy in this area and we're going to start our descent um, in just a few. And uh, it's probably going to be this way for the rest of the, the way down almost. Um, next video, I really want to do, well one, I need to get the, um, learning the A320, the new FS Labs one. Um, I know it's a lot more difficult than this one, so I'm going to have to study up on that and practice. Um, I also, my next video, I would like it to be, um, something with the Cessna 172. I'm really interested right now in, uh, um, polishing up my, um, VOR tracking, you know, and I have a route planned through Spain. Um, leaving an airport and then going around full circle, hitting about four VORs all the way back to the airport. Yeah, so I just really want to uh, start practicing on that. Uh, that's a skill I would like to be better at. So that might be my next video. Depends. Just right now I have the, the trip planned. Uh, I gotta check the weather and stuff, make sure it's cool to do it um, this week. So we'll see. Now we're going to be coming down through the clouds, doing the um, Hydra 1 arrival, which is going to bring us into Sky Harbor. I've actually been to both of these airports in this video. It's not very often that I've been to an airport that I fly to in this on this channel, but uh, I've been to KSFO um, a couple of times, and... Uh, into Sky Harbor about twice, which uh, it's a very neat airport to, to be at. I like how they have the three parallel um, runways. Starting to cut into the very top of the cloud layers. Pretty soon we won't be able to see anything. And right now we have. Um, 
we're set up for 2-5 left. That was the runway I was expecting um, when heading out, just by what the uh, weather predictions were for the time we're supposed to arrive. But actually, we're going to be doing an ILS approach into 7 right. So I'm going to have to get that set up ahead here. And, uh, you know, if we have to end up in a holding pattern, we might. But I'm going to get that set up, and uh, we'll head in. This is one of the times where it would make it easier to have an air traffic controller because, you know, they would they would direct this a lot easier and, and uh, let you know, but... And a big red cell just appeared up here. It's pretty interesting. Right where we would be coming in. This is actually one of the most interesting approaches I've had in a while in a big jet like this. Normally they're pretty routine, but this one's pretty choppy with some questionable weather. It's kind of not in our path yet. And it just kind of it just went away. A little bit, still there. So we'll see what happens. It's kind of moving right over the airport now. Okay, we're going to make our approach into the runway now. This is um, going to land runway 7 right, which is the shorter of the three runways. Putting the gear down now. For some reason, it doesn't seem like the gears are dropping. So I'm going to try that again. Okay, there we go. I was about to say, that's not going to be good if we can't get the gear to go down. Alright, going flaps too. Flaps One thousand. All right, we're going to make our final approach. I will speak to you guys on the ground. Five hundred. Four hundred. Three hundred. Hundred above. Two hundred. Minimum 100, 70, 60, 
50, 40, 30, 20. Retard, retard, five. And that was my attempt to keep the nose gear up a little bit before dropping it, but I kind of pulled back on it a little bit too much. And it looks like the buildings didn't load in for the airport. So that's uh, a problem. I always kind of have that issue with FS Dream Team stuff sometimes. Yeah, you can just see the jetways out there. But that's okay, after the replay I think I'm going to close it out and reload it. And to see if that brings them back. Because I, I did pay for this, I'm not using the demo. Now, I know with FS Dream Team, they always disappear on the replays. So I'm just kind of surprised that it wasn't there when uh, coming in. Flaps are going up. And uh, let's get this reloaded so we can have some buildings in here. And they're back. As beautiful as ever. And uh, we got an American Airlines flight up here. I think they're going to be heading out soon. And we're going to head to our gate, which is around the other side of the building here. The terminal. Alright, we're coming in to the gate now. And that's gonna do it for this flight today. Um, should get, uh, once I start flying the FS Labs A320, um, I think I'll be a lot better with the Airbus. Um, because it's gonna force me to really, really learn the systems in order to operate the plane. So, uh, that'll be one plus. It's kind of, um, one of the weaker planes I fly as far as all the knowledge. Okay, we're gonna get the uh, APU bleed on now and uh, we're gonna shut off the uh, one and two engines. And that's gonna do it for this flight today. I wanna thank you guys for uh, joining me again on another flight and I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you on the next video very soon. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you have not. You guys take care.